Pluto's Best is an absolutely adorable episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I truly love this. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Pluto with, with regards to how much I love the other classic Disney characters. Pluto's one of my least favourite, but in this episode, he shines brightly. The narrative is adorable. We have some very interesting characters. So, as always, I will point out that I am not the target audience for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I'm 30 years old. But I'm a very big Disney fan, can't resist cute animation, I'm a very big animation fan. And I enjoy analysing these to see how educational they are and how beneficial they are to younger audiences in the kind of things that they teach us. This one actually isn't as blatantly educational as some. We are not doing as much counting. It's not actually as interactive as some of the other ones, but it's a lot of fun. And I think it could encourage a lot of children to have this kind of you know, this sports day mentality or having some fun competition but ultimately this one I just found to be an absolute pleasure to watch so this is episode um, 16 I believe and this was directed by Sherry Pollock and Hallie Parkins released in 2006 stars of course Pluto um, but we have some other exciting characters as well. We have Butch. This is the first time I have seen Butch done in this design. One of the reasons I love Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or I'm um, a fan of it if you like is because I love seeing the classic characters in this new CGI design. I will admit I prefer the 2D style animation of you know the very classic Mickey well not the very classic Mickey Mouse I found the animation of the original Donald Duck animation is terrifying but I prefer the kind of Mickey of the 50s 60s 70s this CGI approach is not it's not nostalgic for me but I do love seeing characters that I've grown up with in this new design. And seeing Butch this way for the first time, so exciting. Basically, Pluto and Butch are competing in a dog race. And they're enjoying it, I have to point that out. They're not being forced to do this. They're both very enthusiastic. They both want to win in this competition. But it's a friendly competition. And we have Goofy managing a scoreboard. And whoever wins gets a golden star. Um, and obviously whoever has the most stars at the end of each heat or each round wins the trophy. I'm not going to say what happens but I was very impressed with Butch's behaviour because Butch as Pete's dog can be kind of um, full of himself. He thinks he's a bit of an alpha dog but in this one he was actually very friendly and approachable and likeable and I loved the animation design of him. I think it was a lot of fun. So we see these um, competitions unfold. I think the style of animation um, it's very detailed. It's very well done. The actual competitions are really impressive. We have a swimming pool. I think the design of the water and the way it moves was really pleasing to watch. I really enjoyed it. We also have a lot, a lot of other characters in this one because um, they have some spectators, of course. We have the usuals, Minnie, Daisy, Donald. Donald, oh my goodness, at one point, Donald is wearing... I don't know if it's a Fifi costume or... A lady from Lady in the Tramp costume. I feel like it's meant to represent Lady based on the blue collar. But he's he dresses up as a dog a couple of times and is on all fours. Donald Duck on all fours? Never thought I'd see that. Absolutely brilliant bit of animation. Really had a lot of fun with that. The other characters we have, um, Chip and Dale are there to watch the games. Um, Clarabelle is there and um, Ludwig von Drake. So we have everybody. It's such good fun. And I really enjoyed it. So while it's not the most directly educational, we're not teaching children the names of shapes or colours or anything like that. You know, children can cheer on for their favourite dog. Inevitably, it's going to be Pluto for the most part. Um, there's the excitement of not knowing who is going to win. I really enjoyed it. This is genuinely one where I had a lot of fun watching it. I thought the outcome was really sweet. Really thoroughly enjoyable. I can't fault it. So even though I'm not the world's biggest Pluto fan, I thought this was absolutely adorable and, and completely, it's probably my favourite episode so far. Pluto's best definitely is the best.